Yo, back into it. Another vidya. Um, sort of another update, I guess. Been going hard on the car. Um, there was a track day coming up, and I was like, oh shit, I'm actually kind of close to this. Um, so I put in a few days hustle and sort of got the car to a point where I could drive it, um, but weather ended up packing in and we couldn't get there. Um, but got the whole lock set up, sorted. Oh, you can't see that, got my rack back in, all that shit. Just heaps of little bits and bobs on the car to sort of finish up. Got these real sick vintage brides. I need to get some more grommets, but they were a steel, so that's sick. Got the rear half of the cage bolted in. Um, didn't put the front in, because basically, um, in New Zealand, you kind of have to have a proper cage and harnesses if you want to run a cage. But I can run this, and it doesn't affect me in the front, so kind of counterintuitive, but that's the way it is. So until I get a real cage, that's how it's going to be. Um, took the car for a bit of a hack. Uh, yeah, 20 E's doesn't have much ground, hey. Got some little, borrowing these off homie. Kind of want to buy some, though. They look fire. Um... Got this set of RHs, kind of rank, but also kind of Kiwiana. Uh, but yeah, took it for a hack in the wet, and it's just really not that grunty. Kind of knew that. Um, been umming and ahhing for ages whether I just get on with putting this in, which I really should. But man, I just want to drive, eh? Like, there's just so much little things that need to be done to the car for this to go in and run, which are all things that I could do without, sort of without taking the 20E out. Um, so I bit the bullet and bought the turbo and wastegate that I'm going to use on the K-Series, but I bought a 30E manifold flange and some stainless elbows and shit, and here we are. The 20E is getting a GTX 3576 and a 50mm gate from TurboSmart. Um, sort of thinking about a few other things, I've been talking to Calford about getting a Camry grind. Um, obviously gonna tune it, I'm not gonna just plus T it. But yeah, so this could be a bit of fun, just something I've always wanted to do. No one ever goes full hog on one of these because it's fucking retarded, but it's in here, it runs, I'm a fabricator, why not, you know? So that's what we're going to be getting into. Yeah, good, car is jacked up, old exhaust gone, it's flogged. It means I can now take the old manifold off, pull this airbox and then take off, and then we can start planning where the donkey's going to go. Oh, she's sexy. I like when they pretty and get up. Looks like these are maybe like eight or nine mil or something. Don't know, doesn't fit. You're gonna have to drill them. Something like that, I reckon. I mean, I put it there. It looks kind of shit, I reckon. I don't like these sort of real mid-mount guys. Chong ass manifold just sits it right there. Well, it's kind of like that's kind of on the plus though. That outlet and they screw around it like maybe like that or something. I don't know. I'll have a play around with this and see what I come up with. Good morning. Another day back at it.
Now, um, before I get too far into figuring out where that turbo is going to go, I figured I need to make a merge collector because where that sort of ends up is going to be critical. I go, I want to put the turbo here and then find my merge collectors, like meaning the pipes are going to be going to the bodywork or something. Um, and I figured it's probably going to be one of the hardest points about making this manifold. Um, yeah, I could just buy one, but at a certain point, you're kind of just assembling a manifold. So, I'm going to try and make one. Uh, you can buy jigs, but I can get away and they're like 60 bucks or whatever. Um, so, I tried to make one. Um, print came out shit, but basically, what I did was made the merge collector that I want on Fusion 360 on the computer. And then, so, you know, I got my angles right, and then from that, took one of those pipes and use that shape to make basically a block that the pipe can slide through and where it comes out, you mark it and that'll give me my cut. Now, uh, yeah, the printer didn't, the print I went out and it fucked out and whatever, but I think that this will actually work good enough. So here's my tube and that goes on like this. So, and then that gives us our cut line. So, I'm gonna go ahead, mark that out, and do six of those, and see what it looks like. And there you have it. Repeated the process six times. <laughs> um, bit of a bastard, but. Got it in there, just cleaned it up with a flappy dust, got those last little bits out. Bit of die grinding and um, yeesh, good to go. There she is, pretty stoked with that actually. Um, got a bit of a gap to fill. But yeah, overall pretty stoked on that. So we'll figure out how to purge it and please her up. Cutting some more off the collector because I think next time I'll make this angle a, bit, a little bit steeper because um, the collector's a little long sort of thing. Um, but no, I'm more or less happy with that. Got it um, tacked in place, so really nothing left to do but start making these tubes. Got a rough idea of how I'm going to go, but it's kind of hard to plan six routes in your head. Um, but yeah, just get into it, I suppose. Sitting below the bonnet, gives me enough room for everything. Did actually forget to film putting that third runner on, but um, it's taking shape. I think what we're gonna do now is um, pull it all off and weld these runners to the collector, otherwise, it's gonna be really hard to get into there. Um, on this first one, I didn't have my cup to gas ratio quite right, so it didn't come out as good, but these ones are looking a lot better. So 
got all the runners welded up. Pretty, pretty stoked with how it's looking. Um, so what I'm going to do next is bolt the flange up to the spare head I've got over there, and um, and we'll finish welding the runners to the flange, and then also this flange here. And then we'll chuck it back on and um, figure out exactly where the wastegate's going to go and, and do the wastegate port. I think probably chuck the gate somewhere like here. I want to have the the pipe coming off not like at a shit angle. I want it to be kind of in the direction of the gases, so have it coming up and then into the gate about there. This is a certified hood classic. And there she is, boys. Bloody good. Super stoked with this. Took me bloody ages. Um, not looking forward to doing another. Not a six on there anyway, but no, nah, there's definitely stuff I'll do differently next time, but I'm pretty, pretty happy with it in general. Um, yeah, so we'll go chuck it on the car and see how she looks all, all sorted. And, and then it'll be time to do the dump pipe and gate and stuff. And there it is. Got to make a dumpy and a screamer and all that stuff and a whole exhaust. I kind of got a bit there, but that's not that exciting, so I probably won't film that. So yeah, that will conclude episode one of the side quest that is the RB20 plus capital T. Thanks for watching. Um, see you next time. As always, really hope I can make a driving video soon.